Hello, in this very brief tutorial I'm just going to show you how to quickly export data from lab chart in order to plot a graph in GraphPad Prism from your data set. What we have on the screen in front of us is a muscle twitch and this muscle twitch is recorded at 4000 samples per second as you can tell by looking at the sample indicator on the top right hand side of lab chart. 4,000 samples a second means that LabChart is recording 4,000 individual data points for every second of recording. If we look at the length of the twitch, we have around about one second of twitch between 3.2 and 4.2 seconds. If I was to export all of these data, this would create 4,000 data points. Of course, Prism, Excel and other graph drawing programs can probably happily handle this amount of information, but it doesn't seem like it's worth exporting this amount of data just to simply plot a representative graph for presentation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight the data I wish to export. So in this case, from around the 3.2 second mark to the 4.2 second mark. And once I've selected the information I want to export, I go to the File menu of Lab Chart, and I choose the Export As function. I want to save it as something, and I'm going to call it Isometric Analysis. I'm going to save it as my desk on my desktop. The file format I'm going to use is going to be the Lab Chart text file. You can click on the drop-down list and choose one of many different types of file. If you've got MATLAB, you can export as a MATLAB file. If you're going to export as any of the other types, make sure you have the software able to support it. If you choose a Lab Chart text file, it will export the data as a tab delimited text file. In other words, every column of data will be separated from the next column of data using a tab. That's the keyboard tab. What the tab means is that when you export, import this data into Excel or in Prism, the data will be separated into individual columns because the software will identify this as a tab delimited file. If you've used Excel before or other software, Files can be exported as tab delimited, comma delimited, or anything like that. It just depends on what the software is going to do. So we're going to click on the Save button, and it'll bring up a collection of options. These options are fairly self-explanatory, and like all lab chart windows, if you work from the top to the bottom, you'll work out what you need to do. So, in, for instance here, the Channels window, at the moment it's exporting just Channel 1, and channel 2 because those are the two channels that are currently available on the screen. I don't actually need to export channel 1 which is the stimulation which initiated our Twitch so I'm going to turn that off and now you can see the channels exported will only be channel 1. Moving down I don't want to export the whole file I only want to export the selection. By clicking on selection you'll notice that lab chart then goes back to the channel 1 and 2 settings. I don't think this is a bug in lab chart, I just think it's a, a design feature which is a little bit frustrating, so then we have to go back and just choose channel 2. On the left hand side you've got an option, any value over the input voltage for that channel will either be clipped, showing clip, or output nothing for the values. We want to output nothing for the values, although we know that our data are inputted correctly and that there are no clipping. It seems silly to export data that you've sampled incorrectly. Over on the right hand side you can choose to incorporate a header for each of your blocks. We don't, we don't want to export from different blocks, we're only exporting from a single block, therefore we're leaving that blank. We are going to export the time and we're going to export the time in seconds. This makes life a lot easier in PRISM when you come to analyse the data or plot the data because it'll understand what these seconds mean. If you export without the seconds, it'll use a format which will be in minutes and seconds, and some software won't interpret that as, t as time. We don't want to export the date, we're not that interested in exporting comments, and we don't need to export any event markers. Over again on the left hand side, we have an option to downsample. Downsampling simply means that when it exports the data, it takes every nth sample. In this case it says downsample by one, or in fact downsampling is turned off, which means, which means for these one second of data it will export 4,000 data points. I'm going to downsample 
in this case, by 40. This means it'll export much less data points. The graph may not look as good, but you can change this downsampling to any other number between 1 and, in this case, 4,000. Obviously, if you downsample by 4,000, it will only export one data point. But for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm going to downsample by 40. This means I'll have 100 data points to plot in PRISM. I then click on OK, and instantly, because this is a very small data set, the data have been exported onto my desktop as a text file. If you want to, you can open this text file, and here you can see the file is exported with time in seconds down the first column, and then the twitch force in the second column. And if I scroll all the way down, you can see there's a lot of data there. In fact, as I said, 100 data points. So now we've finished in lab chart, we can switch to PRISM. With PRISM, I want to export this data as an XY graph, so I choose New Table and Graph, XY. I'm going to enter or import, in fact in this case I'm going to import data into a new table. My X values are going to be numbers, and my Y values will be a single data point for each value, because I know I only have a single set of data. I'll then click on Create. PRISM will open with a table format for XY. By default, XY data has this single column of data in advance full of the word title. This is a um, row title function within PRISM which you don't actually need, so you could close this and just leave an X followed by a Y. If you right click on the first cell and choose Import Data, you can then select the isometric analysis text file that we saved and press import. PRISM will analyze this file very quickly and just see what the data are. It will immediately understand that it is a, um, a tab delimited file and will automatically open it in the right format. Within the import choices, you have five windows. The source window simply tells you where the file has come from and you have the option to be able to open the file in a text editor and change the values should you wish to at this stage. The view window shows you the data. Quite conveniently, it shows you each row and tells you this is going to be column one, which is our time, and column two will be our voltage data or our force data from the Twitch, which is very useful just to quickly confirm that PRISM has understood the data you're trying to import. You can filter your data by excluding various values or only including values between certain numbers or you can skip columns etc. This is only really worth doing if you view the file and see that something is looking wrong. The filter window is fairly self-explanatory for instance you can skip all roles, rows until column 1 is a certain value so if you know that you're going to be initiating for instance a twitch you could skip all the rows until the value reaches anything above zero, for instance. But in this case, we're going to import all the data. The placement function simply is a way of putting the values into the correct columns. By default, PRISM will do this fairly well. If you've right-clicked on the first cell of the X column, it will automatically import them correctly based on the way we've exported them. And the info and notes really doesn't need to be looked at. So clicking on import, after a few seconds the data is successfully imported into PRISM. If I then look at my graph file, you can see that PRISM has attempted to plot these data on an XY graph. At this point you can choose how you want the data to look and I'm going to choose a simple line graph because I think that looks a lot more interesting than choosing the points. I can then press on OK. Zooming in, we can see that it's successfully plotted the data in a format that look a lot more presentable than simply capturing a screen grab from lab chart. Of course, you can format this graph any which way you like, and certainly I would replace the X title and Y title with the correct axes, labels, and units. But for the purpose of this demonstration, you can see very clearly how these data have been imported successfully into GraphPad Prism. Thank you.